Yo, it's Black Bloom back with another video. Look, I'm doing this video real quick on Lil Baby and Lil Marlo, the rapper that was just killed out of um, Atlanta, where I'm from, where I'm at actually right now. So look, a lot of people will um, will say it was some street shit, you know, that it wasn't a sacrifice, that Lil Baby didn't, um, didn't sacrifice one of his closest homies, right? Most people will believe it's involved with some street shit here in Atlanta. And that is exactly what they want y'all to think, you know? They want you to think, they do it in ways, and I've explained this multiple times, they do it in ways um, that basically portrayed what the rapper's life was about in his music. So meaning they will sacrifice you on how you portrayed yourself. So it's very believable. Um, to the public. So, with that being said, that is how, how they like to set it up. So it's believable. So it's not like some weird shit, you know? Like, if you think about every sacrifice that's usually done in the industry, um, they always die the way that they portrayed themselves to be. Juice World, all he did was talk about popping pills. How did he die? He died, supposedly, Popping pills, overdosing on pills. Um, Mac Miller talked about a lot of drugs. People knew that he probably did an excess excessive amount of drugs. How did he die? Overdose. You want to go all the way back to Amy Winehouse. How did she die? Overdose. It's just very fitting for certain people to lose their life in the same exact way that they were living. Now, yes. A lot of people live a certain way and they die because of living that way. Yes, you can't dismiss that. But we have to think about it being regular people toward famous people. Most of the time, someone really famous has someone next to them or close to them that dies, you know, often in a way that portrayed how they lived. Even we can look, look I'm, I'm hitting it right now. We can go all the way back to the dude that was in the movie from a long time ago, Freedom Riders. It was um, the black dude that was in the movie. He ended up dying, getting shot, like almost the same way that he did in the movie before the movie even came out. He died. He never got to see how big Freedom Riders would have been because he died almost exactly how he died in that movie, Freedom Riders. So um, um, just giving you examples of how the industry likes to sacrifice people, even Future. When Double D was killed, he was killed on the highway here in Atlanta. Future sacrificed Double D. That's how they do shit, you know what I'm saying? To make it very believable so most people wouldn't question it. And that's what most of y'all doing. Lil Baby had it coming. You see what I'm saying? He had it coming. Um, it was his time to basically make a sacrifice. You got two choices when you get that famous and you start getting that much money. You, you done signed the artist. You know, you and that artist got a number one song. You know, um, you got hella shit going on. You famous as hell. It's time. Now it's time to give up something. You either going to give up your manhood. You're going to do the rituals. You're going to do all this sick ass shit. Or you're going to sacrifice somebody. It's only it's only those two choices. And you got to understand, you can't be on top. You can't be on top unless you accept the lifestyle and you accept the rituals. Look at Katy Perry. Katy Perry was a damn, like, church singer. And turn completely dark. Once you accept, you know, you accept the order, you accept what they want you to do, you accept they plan, their agenda, then that's that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I only mention Katy Perry because of the flip. Like how you go from being, you know, innocent church girl, blah, 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 to, you know, super fame and all this dark shit in your videos and shit. I'm just giving you examples of how it goes once you start getting all the fame and shit. You have to agree to one of the two doors. You got this door where it's going to be like some, you, you, they're going to play with you. They're going to play with that. They're going to play with your ass, basically. <laughs> you're going to do some freaky, weird, ritual shit, or you're going to sacrifice somebody you love. You're going to sacrifice something close to you that's going to hurt you to basically show your allegiance. And he just had another song, Sell a Million, um, here in the United States. The we paid song with 42 dub so you know you're getting all this shit that's going on he already knew this was gonna happen he already knew this was a price that you had to pay 
when he signed a contract and when things started to go his way in the industry. It is what it is. No matter what y'all think, this is what goes down at the top of the industry. And Little Baby has entered that elite status of stardom and fame when it comes to the rap game, when it comes to the industry. And this is just what it is. Um, this is this is what it is. A lot of people saying he was 27 and then a lot of people saying he was 30. So, you know, um, I can't sit here and say he was a 27 club member because on the internet it says he was 30. And a lot of people are also saying that he was 27. Um, but whichever, whichever way that it goes, it doesn't really matter. Um, we, you already know what's, what's going on. So for me, for me, the biggest, the biggest sign is the way that he died. And, you know, it's circulating that it must be some gang shit or, you know, some kind of beef where he from, blah, blah, blah. That's exactly what they want y'all to think. That's how everybody ends up getting sacrificed. Just like Wiz. Wiz sacrificed Jimmy Wapo. And how did he get shot? I mean, how did he die? He got shot. He got shot in a car. He got shot in a car. And, you know, they chalked it up as being, even though he was involved in some street shit, he was involved in that kind of shit. But as soon as he signed the Wiz, he ended up getting killed um, sitting in a car on the side of a road, same day as X, which he also got killed sitting in a car. You know, and I've mentioned that before, but all of this stuff is far from um, coincidence. It's far from it. It just, it adds up too much. Mathematically, it adds up. It's there. You know, everything is in a in a row, and it just continues to repeat itself with minor differences as far as how they sacrifice. But um, anyway, I just thought I should do that because I've been seeing some videos, and people still don't get it. So, um, yeah, anyway, look, Black Balloon, I'm out.